Welcome back everyone. If you're new here, check out the timestamps for anything specific. We're going to take a little bit of a road trip on this one down to the cities for our first comp. We're going to check out some class 3, some class 2, and some class 1 trucks. If there's something I missed, I apologize. There's so many awesome people I met, so many people I didn't get to finish conversations with or say goodbye to. We're also going to check out a little bit of carpet racing, some pit areas. We'll just share the whole adventure with you. This was our first event. We got way more content than was expected, and I had a lot of questions that I have content prepared for. For that reason, we're going to have to put out more than one video, maybe even up to five videos. If you don't want to miss out on anything, please subscribe and turn your notifications on, as we're a small channel and you might miss something. I hope you enjoy. All right, let's get into it. Okay, guys, today we're going to be watching Class 2 competitions. For that reason, you may notice that I'm not as talkative in the videos as I normally am. I'm not doing commentary. It's not my job there. Uh... Brian does an excellent job at it. I may be very outgoing and outspoken, but I'm trying to stay out of everyone's way, and I apologize to the people that I was in the way of. I hope that you still enjoy the video. It's going to be very long because there was a lot of competitors. We're going to go over the damages that our stuff took at the end of the of this video, so it just helps people that have the same things as us. We're also going to go over how to inspect and clean your trucks from mud, dirt, water, and snow, and things like that. All right, let's get into it. She loves it more than she likes Bon. I always make sure and then I see her laughing or something. Or, I can't believe they did that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is so much smoother than it lets on right there. Hey, really, the tire just doesn't want to. All right, who are we looking at? Glad to see I'm not the only one having trouble with that one specific spot right there as well. I only made it up there once. Yeah, yeah. I, yeah yesterday we made it up, but I gave it a couple of tries and help and whatnot. Oh, so you were here yesterday? Yeah, we were awesome. good guy again late Thank last. You. Well, late in the evening last night, so went out for dinner and whatnot, and then came out. Same question. Are you cool with me? Watching one, I've seen that thing around, so yeah. It's a cobbled together budget. I love it. Every Toyota should look like that Toyota. It doesn't. It looks like a red cap. Right here. 
Oh, that's, yeah. That's the move. That, that's, yes. He's turning up there. You're viable to just roll over. Oh, absolutely. Super cool. I'm going to see it here. All good. I'm the least important one. Don't worry about me. <laughs> I hate being in people's way. I'm not special or anything. I'm just sharing things with other people, right? So. Well, that's cool. The light's on there. I just noticed that. <laughs> Does it matter if you hit the finish gauge or no? Yeah. <laughs> that's, that's why he did it like he did. <laughs> I was gonna say it's hot tighter than I remember it. Okay. Right. Mmm, that's nice. Ah. Uh. <laughs> Oh, it's already got the weight on it even. Nice. I think that was the thing is just oh, this super light. Uh, that little bit of front weight, that winch and that bumper right there. I think this is the, uh, this is the thing. You know, but, uh, this is what makes trucking so great. You could build them. You could even build two of the exact same ones and they might not perform the same. Nice. With the bonus. Nice. Good job. Awesome. Oh, all kinds of mess. I like to say things are happening. Yeah. All right. I wasn't going to say anything. That's what I got to do. Yeah, uh, when we can do one with some scale points someday, we take the time, maybe uh, judge the scale points on Saturday and then do the crawl on Sunday, you know? <laughs> That's awesome, though. Good looking truck. Don't even need to use the backup button. Rolls back. Oh yeah, letting gravity do the work. This is a good trick. Smart, smart use. Oh, no worries. Now you don't have to worry about it. Yep. Dooley's doing their jobs. No worries. 
you got Gabe? There you go. There you go. How many Garys you got? What's that? How many Garys do you have? Garys? Yep. Oh, we got a Gary D up next. There you go. He got it. Good job. I just love the dualies. Right. Seeing them like on the edge of the bridge there, you know that's the inner tire saved it. it was perfect. Yeah, it's gonna cause you to roll over a little more because it's a little wider and stuff like that, but the, it's, it's so nice. It's so worth it at the same time. The the rear suspension, I gotta figure out some way to dampen it. It's got the the uh, one sixteen. Uh, okay. Yeah, it's got a can of Put a little bit of thick dip on the shaft that'll dampen it a little bit. that I just tell my customer get for a thousand dollars less. So I kind of I don't know if these tires are even worthy. It's heavy. It's heavy. Oh, there we go. Good catch. That's a good thing. Well, you're up. That's where mine gets to, too. It just that weight. Oh, yeah. You know, you talk about the mini van. Yeah, that's where that weight gets detrimental versus the traction. That's a four cylinder. Then Paul will be up next, and then Monique will be up after that one. I think those are small enough to run as class one. Isn't that almost even? No, I think those are class two. Even? Okay. Yeah. Well, I mean, everything's class two, right? Pretty much. I just made this. Tire diameter. Yeah. <laughs> right, the first two trucks may look, or, or first three trucks may look real easy. Right. <laughs> Sway bar. Again, I just want to thank everybody for coming out on the road today. Very cool. Joining in on the crawler tap for this place. We appreciate you coming out here. The wonderful thing about this place is the always sunny and Saturday in here. We have the summer all winter. What an awesome save! Right here? And your choice how you want to go up and around, but yeah, seven, seven and then eight. Good job. 
I think I've seen smoke. Yep. <laughs> Put in rubber. Yeah. Yeah, and then smoke, yeah, in a good way, not in a bad way, right? <laughs> oh, there is a wind spot. Holy smokes. He said he's got a power wagon he's bringing next it time. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I lost a few points on that. Yeah, but you're quick about it, so at least you kept the time up and everything, right? I'm a sucker for the sport body though. It looks so much just like a Toyota or a little bit of a Ranger. That's good. Here we go. Every single, the last six people do that, and it always saves it. No, I didn't think I it surprises me every time. I'm like, how did you save that? I'm rolling it there, 100%. <laughs> I'm quick. Don't worry about me. I'm not gonna be. 
Jim and Ian. No, that won't happen. She's gonna murder me. I assure you. She always does. My heart is on edge. Jeez. I told you she got fucking whooped. I'm, I'm, I assure you. I feel lucky to have seen that even. You can do it. Oh, oh. bone escape being right there. Yeah. I'm sorry too. I didn't even think about that. Let me be out of the way. <laughs> I'm not worried. That's just such a cool angle, and I think I can get like. Multiple trucks going through there, cut, cut, cut. I need to chair that moves around here at the table. <laughs> need a chair with legs. I like, think with, like walker legs. legs. We can think of all sorts of ways to spend money. <laughs> come on, come on, a little bit more. Ah, I already touched. Kissed it. Didn't touch that one. That little nubbin on that branch is the death of a lot of cars. I forget now, if you touch one, they're both dead, so it don't matter if you hit the other one. Right. Okay. Once you hit like Yeah. So if you hit one seven, both sevens, so it don't matter. Yeah. yeah. I thought about it. I have two. Sorry, sir. I probably done that more than last I do apologize. <laughs> You're free to let me know or anything like that. I do. And also want to remind everybody while this is going on, if anybody's hungry, we always have a burger, Philly, chicken sandwich combo for four bucks. We get a pound of chip food, so it's a pretty good buy. You can get some hungry. No. That looks It really is. Yeah. 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 It's a pretty neat place to go see if nothing else. But it's literally about two blocks from here, and I think this summer we're probably going to have a crawl pump over there. We talked to the folks over here at the park a little bit about what we're going to have. Oh, turn, baby, turn. Reverse. Fast part of the track. Taking the long way around to the safe way around so everyone's getting through it. I just hope everybody appreciates the facility that we do have here because it's pretty cool to have something like this here in our own state when there's not many like this in the whole country. So it's neat to have, and again, I like seeing all of the cars and all of the Alright, I'm good. Get out of the way! <laughs> I love the sound on that. Holy smokes. Oh, it's a little bit of a See, is it look longer because it's narrower, or is it longer because it's 12.8 and narrower? Okay. And normally 12.3 is what we're 
seeing, okay. And remember, the only time you need to worry about speed is if you're getting close to the end or it's a tiebreaker for points. I'd be able to drive into it. He got it. He got the gate. Where's the bonus? I'll put all those. Not bad. Bonus gates here. Oh, man. Right up that. I wish I would have that better. That was really good. Is that it? John's another one of our racers that runs out here on Saturdays. We appreciate you coming out to us all stuff as well. Good to see some of that cross over. Hopefully we can see these rock star guys crossing over to the race. Definitely he's going to do it a little time to go the outside of the corner. Is that the one that used to be a TRX4? It still is a TRX4. Oh, really? <laughs> oh, I don't have it back It used to be white. It did. The body was too heavy. Racer guys take it. <laughs> Uh, I think it's a great idea. 
We need to do that this summer for my ace game. I don't care what it costs. Pay some of them $800 rare Wait, everyone's not buying the twelve dollar ones on Amazon? <laughs> this is me then? Okay. <laughs> Actually, the cleanest exit off that bridge I think we've seen without flopping over. Don't forget, if you're on the course and you're trying to get through a gate, if your front tire actually lifts over it but doesn't touch it as long as your front tire is inside the gate, it's going to be a little bit more difficult. You're in the fast part. You're going to get wet. You're 100% wrong. You're going to get it. 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 Go ahead and reach the over unless you can stand through the wheel. No. There we go. Well, the tire tracks in the dirt. That are here. All the guys that are here in the crawl course after we're done today. I'd like to get a group picture of all you guys' trucks on the on the hill and everywhere and get everybody in it. That would be pretty cool to see. We're going to start hanging some more pictures around the walls here. The other thing we do here as well, um, we're kind of getting a collection of them. If you have any crawler products or race car products or anything like that that you want to hang on the walls around here at Thunder Road, we do that. Magically gets clearance to just all over stuff. Dude. Yeah. Like, where'd the clearance come from? I swear it was sitting on the ground a moment ago. <laughs> truck works well. Uh, the driver's pretty good too. Yeah. This is the Can't see it from one side, so you gotta walk around the other side.
go. What are you doing in this class? <laughs> you like the challenge. I know, we were gonna try it with the green one, but we know it. I just don't think it's gonna do it. Love the rims. setter will be this corner right here because half the people got a point for touching this and half of them haven't or a backup for one point for backing up bonus time i'm ready all right we got Haley running here so here we go Oh yeah. Good job, good job. Thank you. Good job. All right, here's three. Eight fours left in the three. Nice. What's deceiving how wide that gate is, but yet how easy they are to touch. Go. Oh, she touched it. She killed it. So don't worry about it. Give it a pop. See if it'll do something. Rock the wheel. Rock the Go slow now, go slow. Keep going, you're good. You got plenty of time, don't worry. Good job, good job. You're doing perfect. Don't worry about the body. We don't want to scratch up the body. That's what this one's for. Class two is for scratching bodies. Pretty cool. A lot of guys like to cut the fender walls out of that thing. I, I thought about it after. I was like, oh, we have a pair of scissors. That's dead gate. Now don't worry about it. Now just focus on the bridge. Oh, I would take a reverse. Uh, okay, I'm going to reverse. She's going to reverse. You're lined up. Go full reverse. It's okay. You can go back further if you want. There you go. That's cool. Wide as a 10. Wide. Yeah. Okay, that's good. Yep. 
and then kind of hope for the best, I guess. Nice. Either that way, that was way good. Way good. That didn't flop hardly at all. Seven's right here. And then go up and around like you were seeing others do. Kind of go as fast as you can without wrecking it. Oh. Flip it over. So, all right, if I step on and. All right. There you go. Good job. Stick on the inside here. Just let it go where it wants to go. Okay. The driver stand, listen up. You guys are leaning on the railing. We did a flip. Hey. Kids and adults up there. There's an orange tape line. Let them know that you got to roll. Make sure you're standing behind that. So if you're up on the driver stand, look down at your toes. Good clean there. You see the orange tape line there. We got to make sure you're standing behind that. She did get a second rollover back over there. Yep, I caught that. Okay. You're right up on it. I don't know. You're you're good. You're gonna have to now turn the wheels the other way and reverse a little bit slowly. And if you feel comfortable, I don't know. You're a good driver. Forward more. Ah, oh, you kissed it. Yeah, that's all right. And then go a little. I don't think I don't think you're making a bonus. Go ahead and go left. Then you don't need to make. It. There you go. That's it. Good going. Heck yeah, that was good. You did really good on a few different parts. Like really, the exit off the bridge was insanely well. I've seen a lot of flops. Make sure everything stays clean here on the road. So again, make sure you clean up your pit area. Put the table in the chairs against the back wall. We appreciate that. And by all means, tell your friends about it. It's a great place to come hang out while it's cold outside. Fortunately, this week's a little warmer. We had guys driving eight hours here yesterday to race. I clear that? That's spending the weekend, on the weekend. Right. Just to come up and run a, a day race. Yeah, they drove all the way from North Dakota. And then drove all the way home last night. They were in little North Dakota. Okay, but back 10, 12 years ago, we used to drive three, four hours to go racing any weekend. Now it's fortunate we got a few tracks around, which is great. Right? Those are the Duluth's a great place to go crawling along North Shore up there by Goose Ferry and Two Harbors. Two Harbors Lighthouse is one of the best ones. Yeah. There's a... You're doing awesome. You've got a good run going. Yeah, there's a little park right north of Silver Bay. Oh, I should have took the reverse. I should have took the reverse. That's alright. There we go. And they've got a shoreline right there around right? as you call on. It's pretty cool to see. I was just up to Snowville two weeks ago and there's actually rock problems down. I kissed that. Uh, I kissed that. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah, no worries. I caught it, but I wanted to No worries. Yeah. I myself up. I should have took that reverse back there. I was thinking, ah, we'll test the limits. It's okay. These are a great truck out of the box. Oh man, yeah. The only thing I've done is flop the bumpers over. Look at that. Ah! No reverse there. Okay, I'm proud of myself. And we're not gonna take them. We'll take what we got. That's it, yeah, we'll take that. Smart. So you don't get hit by a flying car out there. We had one youngster get hit pretty bad on that track, so I wanna make sure that doesn't happen again. And also when you're coming into the track entrance in the back corner, please make sure you're scrubbing your feet off of the 
rug back there. There is a grip mat to get some of the dust off back there. We'll try and keep the dirt on that racetrack down as little as possible. There are one of our youngsters here, Caden, that drives up to race. He's our vacuum guy. It takes him about 10, 12 hours of vacuum to do that whole other track. A little curvy, but it does a good job. So, how do you try to keep that track? <laughs> we try to find a bigger one, but they don't work like a bigger one. We have one. It still doesn't work like that. It's still there. Everything will be on there, right? Well, I got a it's, 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 yeah. it's just for having fun and like, That's awesome. like he's saying, just gets more people out here and everything yeah. like that. Being oh, cool yeah. and, I don't know. Don't See, don't plan to do like, it. Yeah, I just want an RC crawl or whatever. Yeah, and it's you know, it's exploded and I got 20 of them. Yeah. 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 First month thing, we already bought two. Yeah. Completely built one as a class scale one yep. crawler and everything. And the little blue one out here, that'll be a class two scale yep. crawler throw still as well. I had a hard body and all that. Eventually though, we were talking, I need to get a Vanquish just so I can at least get some axles from you. Oh, I'm so sorry about that. <laughs> Vanquish is right. It's just, I don't know. Man. It's something about the quality of the look the build quality in there, for sure. But it's also, I don't think there's, I don't think there's anything I said I didn't want. You know, I still want a Night Runner. I still want a Trump Finder 3. I still want, you know, this. Uh, oh, there you go. Yeah, my. Oh, you're on the right side. No worries, no worries. No worries, you'll back up and get it. Yeah, and then force through here, across the bridge. Yeah. I'm not trying to. No, that's all right, man. Hey. Hey. Dang, that's, so, that's such a nice looking rig. It's just right there, nice going the wrong way. Huh? Yeah, it's all right. Oh! I hope I got that. That was a nice descent there. 
I don't even know how I did that. I think a backup's just one point. I don't yeah, know. But, I got, I got to go but back, a dead go gate's back, 10. Kind of stuck. Knock that way. We got a back. I mean, I should have taken a couple backups. There you go. Good job. I think I lost 20 points instead of 2 points. Just because I refused to back up like a block hit a pool. But that's how you test things, too. Sometimes that reverse is the only way to go. Yeah, it's. A lot of times it'll save you. And, the end, I guess. I wonder if you could do, or if someone has for hood pins done the exhaust out the hood <laughs> and then the pins through them. You know, to kind of give it that cover up. Make sure you're at least 10 years old to be out there for a month. So you got to be at least 10 to be out on that track. That's just for awareness. You tend to have a little more awareness once you hit about 9, 10 years old. Make sure you don't get hit out there. So we appreciate you corner marshaling out there. All right, going to the gates. Going to the bonus. That's finished. Another vanquish trash. Yeah, all right. Oh, we got a Jeep pickup coming for us as well. Last two, last one, last two. I need to get bumpers like that though. I love those trimmed bumpers. Yeah, I gotta get a rear bumper that I like. I haven't found one that I was like, that's oh, just as cool. I put a, I put a skid plate on because it's just as wide as my rail, so that's my bumper. <laughs> Are they really? Yeah. Yeah, it's legal, so that's what we use. Are those steel rims? Uh, aluminum. Aluminum, okay. They're so shiny. Nice. Oh my goodness. Another great save. That is our first, I thought that was our first U-turn. That was, that was excellent. I went all the way around and still rolled it. We'll have the for top three and have an overdrive? Yeah. Might have been the overdrive that drug him around in time for that then. Because the front end, yeah, the front end was going but yeah. Yeah, that 45 degree turn or 50 degree turn almost there, plus the overdrive. Good. All right, guys, I'm just gonna do a quick video on Garage Talk. So what we're gonna cover here is doing an inspection after you play with your trucks, how to um, lubricate and clean things up after you're done playing with your trucks especially in water and mud um being from using air hoses to spray them off and wd-40 to lubricate them also looking at wear and tear on the blue truck and the green truck after competitions from our tires to scratches on the underbelly to frame damage paint damage body damage uh, what kind of bumpers we used and how how that damaged uh things just basically any kind of wear and tear and uh we actually ended up finding on our, um, what's it called, on our inspection that we were having a leaking 
uh, rear seal. I think there might be a seal in there from our transfer case because this goes from engine to transmission to this should be our transfer case at the end of the transmission. I know it's like a two in one thing. And then this goes to our rear axle. I think that's the deal. I'm not quite positive, but I think that's how they work that out. Fix this before we get into it and just say, uh, it might seem like I'm upset in the video or something like that. I'm not upset. The whole point why we do inspections is we can find things like that and it's part of the hobby. You get to fix it. It's, I'm fine with that. I'm upset with myself for not doing a closer inspection each day and while at the garage in, in your, in where I was at. So it's important after you're done playing, inspect your trucks. And perfect reason why. All right, thank you guys. I hope this helps someone. Let's get into it. All right, everyone, some garage talk time. Yay, I wanna talk about uh, three things, probably. Um, first, about the garage and kind of what you need for when you're at a um, event or what you kind of need in your little home garage. Something I got, I noticed when we were there is a yoga mat, $10 yoga mat, $5 yoga mat, whatever, helps a lot. Um, they're kind of water resistance from the material they're made of because you know sweat and stuff like that and then dirt So what they do is they're really big too So anytime you have it you can fold it up with all the dirt that's in it and then take it to the trash can whatever pour it out Really nice uh, something else I was using was old uh, pl Card plane mat or what I use these card plane mats is my mouse pads That's why this one looks so filthy and then over time it gets so bad You can't use it as a mouth pad then you can use it as an RC mat so there's a couple options for you, whatever you got laying around and works best for you. I mean, obviously a bath towel would work fantastic. Um, we were doing that and it worked great. But just, you know, a few options. I think this uh, this seems to be the best for me. I like the, the um, what did I say, the yoga mat the most. Um, anyways, what we're gonna talk about for the other two, um, I wanna talk about damage and mess and just what happened from this weekend and playing with the blue truck, the original TRX4 Sport body. Um, that's the most important stuff because we kind of changed other stuff. We flopped the back bumper to the front. That's what's here. We also raised both bumper stock and we threw on a do do do. We threw on a custom rear bumper in a way like so because what we did is use the skid plate from the skid plate pack that we got that we've talked about in the past but I don't know if any of those have made it on so we've talked about diff covers that we in a past video uh, we also got these skid plates and we talked about the lower skid plate now you can see all the dirt falling off my truck already the tires and stuff um, so this skid plate we used as a rear bumper it's the reason why we could do that in class two, the definition of a, a rear and front bumper is it has to be as wide as your your uh, rails for your truck. And a skid plate is as wide as the rails for my truck. And I think the other definition is a bumper is sticks out past the body of your truck, like that. So it's past the body of my truck and it's as wide as the rails of my truck, technically at this point. It's not at this point, but at the widest point, it is as wide as the rails of my truck. So technically it, pass and uh pretty amazing now some downfalls doing that uh i only have one screw hole available for me uh what that did is when we went really hard into things i'm not gonna do it but this moved downward so now i lost a bunch of clearance because it was way down here and it was no longer sticking out past my thing basically taking a large amount of damage it didn't do it during the comp but it did it during testing when we were going really hard on it so it was fine when i was in my competitive mode not romping it but as soon as you were had to romp it a bit you had a, a weary of bumper movement it also jammed upwards into the body and what that did is you can see it cut the lexidon body now i thought this thing was indestructible but it actually cut it and when it cut it it almost cut that side a little bit too but when it cut it, it uh, took away some of the paint as well when it was rubbing and hitting spots. Um, and this does have scratches from rocks. It turns out these do scratch. I'm new to the thing, so I mean, people might be like, duh, but you know, it's not as durable as you might think. This was just one week in there. And people say, uh, I've heard in the community and I've seen on, on Facebook, like uh, that place, that track is really rough on trucks because it's all rocks and stuff. But like, I play with my trucks. We, Haley plays with the trucks. We, since the very start, have played with the truck. It's going to break. We plan to break it and make it better when it breaks and make it cooler. 
We don't want the same body forever. We plan on shattering the hell out of the green truck and getting a better or different body or the same body and painting it different. Who knows? That's part of the fun for us. So like, I'm not mad at the track. I am just assessing damage. You know what I'm saying? And I don't think that there's anything wrong with rock, rocking a Lexanon body. Uh, I do, I have always said I love this, this specific body I like. I like the sport and most people don't because it's not an actual licensed body. But to me, it looks like a Toyota, it looks like a Ranger, I don't, whatever. It looks pretty neat little pickup truck. I like it. And so for that reason, um, you know, I'm just trying to stay fair, but it's got some beat, it's got some wear, it's got some tear. It kind of looks worse now because it, the thing about the Lexadon, in my mind, what makes it good is it looks like a new truck. It's got really shiny paint, right? It looks like a new truck, but now with these scratches, and even before the scratches, if you were in person or you don't get the exactly right photo or video, Lexadon, and without hard plastic, uh, like these are just pictured thing uh, things, but if you have hard plastic exterior, like. Uh, any more more hard plastic that you put on it the realer the Lexanon will look but with just stickers and stuff You really have to work hard to get that realistic that realism out of it And then when you start adding these like superficial weird looking scratches It really looks like not it starts to not look scale. So just to everyone, you know If that's your thing, uh, I will say this I've seen some scratched up blazers and stuff and those look scale Even so because the hard plastic and stuff and when you get to a certain point it's just, that's that's just part of it. And we'll, I'll show you in comparison to the hard body as well. And maybe we'll learn more. I'll learn more specifically, I know we will. Uh, the inside took up some dirt. So we're gonna talk about what you need to do to prep and clean your truck after you're done playing. I have seen a lot of times people don't know as well what to do with prep and clean. Kind of covering a lot right now. Um, that's garage time. I haven't been posting a lot of garage time, but I think it's important. I see a lot of these questions and I wanna help. Not because I think I know everything, but just because this is what I've learned, this is what I've done, so I'm gonna share it. And if I'm wrong, then someone will tell me. So, there we go. Um, so, moving on to prep for the blue truck. What I would do, like I said, the rear bumper thing, we're gonna go ahead and take that off. Uh, but that's not really prep, that's just, we're getting done with the event. Uh, let's look at dirt and stuff. Oh, it just moved right there. That's how easy that moves. I, I really wanna take that off. I'm gonna be stripping my screws out if I don't just go ahead and get done with that. If you. If you guys are young or, or if you just don't know, it's just really bad to have something screwed together that also still wiggles under stress. Because what that does is it, it might not be moving your screws, it might just be going be like slipping between the screws, but if, if you just keep making it tighter and tighter until it doesn't move, eventually you're just gonna strip out the screws. And what that means, strip out the screws means that the groove from the screw, from the groove to the inside of the screw hole, either the, the either the screw hole is going flat in the grooves, so it's just like now is like a nail instead of a screw, or the or the um, nail hole, I mean, or the screw itself would lose, lose its groove, it turning into a nail. So screws don't work when you turn them into nails or nail holes, or screw holes don't work if you turn them into nail holes. <laughs> Sorry, uh, but yeah, uh, mud. Look at some of this, not too bad. So we have no rear wheel wells. And what's kind of cool about that is we're doing testing. I, I did them because I wanted more front weight, so I put only the fronts on. Um, but I also wanted to see what was the mud because it's four wheel drive vehicle and the four wheel drive's always on. So there was never gonna be a moment in which we weren't flinging mud. I know we go forward more than we go in reverse. So I guess the mud would be flinging a lot forward, so maybe it wouldn't be a fair comparison, if you guys get what I'm saying, because the way that the tires are turning depicts in which the way the mud ultimately kind of flicks more, I guess, but I don't know. There's some mud in here. Take it for what you want. I'll get as close as I can. A little bit in the battery housing. Um, also, we got our new low CG battery housing. That'll be, we'll talk about that another time. Uh, it's not much. It's really not much. Uh, I think wheel wells are important, but I don't think they're, unless you're really playing in the mud and water, super important. I think if you're really in the mud and water, you really should have wheel wells, but if you're just in it a little bit here and there and you know you're gonna prep clean afterwards, uh, you probably could be fine without them. But, all right, let's carry on. Prep clean will be 
anytime I play in the water or get the truck wet from the snow, anything like that, anytime there's a heavy amount of moisture in which could end up on my, um, on any kind of gear or spring, I know that that next day or at the end of the night, I should be doing prep clean. Now I haven't done this since coming back from the trip and we didn't get to do it Saturday because we we're in the hotel and I didn't really have what I like to do. So what I do is I take my wheel off, go ahead and pop it out all the way. Now, since playing in the mud, something new to me, but I will, I think what I'll do is I'm going to blow all these out really good. I usually always blow my truck out before I even get to this part. And um, I, it's, it's 9.30 at night and I just don't feel like waiting 10 minutes as I wait to do a cut to blow the truck off and show you guys a before and after. But uh, an air can, you can buy air duster in a little can. If you're under 18, you need an adult. And so just, you know, get your parents, explain to them what it is. Air duster is a can, maybe they have them hang on to it until you need it, you know, under supervision. But uh, air duster could spray in there. You won't get enough air pressure really for a long time. It would kind of be an expensive way to do it. So you're better off getting an air compressor. You can usually pick one up at like Walmart or something for 60 bucks. Comes with an air nozzle and everything. It'll be like a basketball one or something. Usually they'll call them like pancake air compressor or something like that. And you get, you can plug it in, it'll take about 20 minutes maybe to fill up all the way and then you can spray your truck out really easily. You get all the, get up in here before you take the hires off and everything and just make sure anywhere where there might be water is no longer water. Oh no. Okay guys, since we filmed this video and oh. went over uh, our inspections and whatnot, we so were intact with Traxxas. We got a hold of them first off, inspection. first thing as soon as we seen this in the email, uh, and then we also called them in the morning during their operating hours. They got right on it. Um, um, the oh, person no. that was helping us went straight to their the manager as soon as he got the photos. They both concluded and messaged back. They, the and I quote, shot. the manager has examined the photos, included that we are seeing is right, what we are seeing is normal. There is a small water. amount of grease inside the center yeah, transmission. A little bit of that grease may seep out through it. the bearings over time. This is normal, and should not cause any issues. We replied, thank you so much, good to know. One more question, is there a product number or a weight for the grease? And so we know in our regular maintenance schedule what to put in it and replace it. Because if it is seeping out, uh, say every six months when you do your regular maintenance schedule as Traxxas recommends, uh, they do recommend replacing your grease and whatnot. So he did get right back to us and gave us a link. He said we were recommend a high performance grease you can find here and it's a Traxxas store of course I wouldn't expect any less and I wouldn't want to use anything other than just because it just keeps things simple and it keeps warranties easy if you use what they recommend uh, it's $12 the model number is hashtag 5041 that's on the Traxxas website model number hashtag 5041 uh, it says grease premium high performance and then in parentheses 20 cc so that's 12 bucks on their US and uh, that's what we'll be getting to do our regular maintenance with. I hope this was helpful. It really helpful for me. All right, thank you. Too. So like the performance wise was fine. I did, we didn't notice anything. I heard no weird sounds or anything. So green truck, talk okay on for just normal prep and clean. So I usually take a, some sort of bowl or whatever you're fine with. You grab some WD-40 after you're spraying things out and I'll spray out any Anywhere where the tire will go around, around there. Anywhere uh, there will be an open spot. If you got portals, you can see in here. Just really want to get in there and keep the dust and stuff down to a minimum from building up. Oh, and I want to talk about tires. Uh, the stock Traxxas tires held up tremendously fine. Nothing changed on them. And they worked fine. They worked good. I mean, I guess you can trim them, everyone knows, and make them a little bit better. Which, if they're going to be our class two, I guess in class two, uh, trimming tires is legal. I'm going to look into it because I never believe everything I'm told. So I'll figure out more and then I'll let you guys know if you like. But let's talk about the green truck now. The green truck took some slams as well. As you can see, when we rolled down the hill, the very first time took this scratch. This is the only scratch I don't like. It doesn't look scale because it's, I don't know, just something about it doesn't look scale. But everything else, all the hits it's taken so far actually look really scale and I really like them. Um, so what I mean by that is like little hits on the rubber, rub spot on the corner where we were going up the waterfall. You can really see cool damage from that where we were bahogging into each other to try to make it up the waterfall. 
right there is a spot. Very cool. Just trying to pay attention if there's anything I missed. We got some scrapes on the mirror. You can see this general lull over spot in the corners. Some grindage on the hood. Everything held up. There's a point when we rolled down that hill too. This flopped up and it came back down and the magnets didn't break or anything. Um, the back end of the truck when we rolled down the hill came completely off in the magnet and slammed back down and everything stayed on and in place. I really think my homemade Home Depot sliders worked. They're not from Home Depot. I just mean like I made them. Uh, yeah, the all the all the door handles and everything stayed on. I mean, we rolled it. There was one point where I slammed straight into things. If anyone knows what bumper is we got, if you remember from Amazon, we got the CNC cast aluminum pair from for 26 bucks or whatever for, for these trucks. And we slammed this corner straight into it and it didn't break. So really happy on that. It is loose now, but I don't know if that's because of that. It was always kind of loose a little bit. So um, yeah, as far as the body, the green truck held up tremendous. I really like the damage it's taking starting to look really like it's a used truck so that's the only one I don't like but uh it'll probably grow on me or it'll change or something so now this is the heavy truck and I expected it to be the one with problems I'm trying to think when we were hard on the blue truck ever even and I mean I'm sure there's a couple times where we were hard on it but not I can't think of a spot where like the axles were pinned or anything like that, so. Who knows, who knows? Huh? Everything I did was on video, so it's on warranty and they can see if I played with it too hard if I have to. Uh, well, anyways, green truck, god dang, that's it. Get off your mind, JT. Um, one of the wheel wells that I homemade taped in with this metal tape finally gave way there at that point, I noticed, but that doesn't really mean anything because I mean, they stayed in place because they're screwed in. So they're not really holding by tape. They're just kind of detail placed. So if you guys are seeing that at the comp and was like, what? Taped in, it, they're screwed in, obviously. They're just kind of like uh, extra whatever. And as you can tell, the truck kind of looked great. Uh, winch we didn't get to use, seems fine. Tire a little bit, let's see. Everything sounds good. Everything sounded good on the green one too, or the blue one. That sounds good. Yeah, it sounds the same. Definitely transmission leaking. <laughs> uh, let's flip it over. On the inside, uh, wait, we were talking about mud so much on the wheel wells. On the inside of this, literally like no mud. There's a little bit right here because it splashes up into the body and then down on top of this runner. But like, dude, for homemade 50 cent wheel wells or 75 cents wheel wells or whatever, like, nailed it. Nailed it. If the wheel well job is to stop all light, and protect your electronics from being seen and water damage. I think we nailed it. <laughs> and it looks scale because I messed them up. So happy with that. Uh, also, I'll have a video up on how I made my wheel wells. Same with the running boards. Um, yeah, we just, it's hard to share everything, you know. Uh, a bit more damage that the bumpers have taken to scrape their aluminum. So the scrapes look good. Underneath damage on the truck. Uh, just like the other one, diff covers portal housers or not hauser but attachment whatever you want to call them oil in there looks kind of extra oily but nothing like not like a bad way i guess does seem oily up in here too but not it's not like the other one it just seems like that might be an to know an oil spot you guys let me know if the if the rear on your tracks this is no one to give out i've not seen anything for that got some heavy scratches because the truck is so heavy um but everything's holding up i really thought this would be the one to break if anything it's so surprising i wish i would have known if i would we flipped the truck over on Saturday and kind of looked at him. I just didn't see that. Really didn't see that. I'm so curious. I'm such a curious mind. I can't drop it because I just want to know when it happened, you know? But, uh, yeah. Uh, wear and tear on the wheels. Talking about the wheels. Um, these wheels were the $20 pack. I went over them before. We can go over this stuff again on a, on a day when we can talk about how 
like an overall way that I put this together if people want because I get asked a lot of the same questions so it's, I know it's annoying to be like well I did that in one video and then this video and try to put them all in one spot but uh, the damage from the wheels they did start to peel back after Saturday they were peeling a little bit on some corners so the rubber is really soft and good but at the same time that's what makes it wear down a little faster I think we have another good comp in them maybe if we're lucky probably one more comp because i mean back here you can see you can see it there in the corners and stuff it's just like it doesn't sound like a lot but if that's peeling i mean those corners that it used to make it peel and help you get up on those things it can no longer do because now they're gone so it's just that little bit, every tiny little thing affects your truck so much. Every millimeter you go up, out, heaviness, so. Um, shocks seem to be working as fine as ever. So a quick way that I like to do my, uh, my springs and my shocks and stuff once I have some WD-40 kind of in my whatever I was using to spray over is I'll just put my fingers in it and I'll just kind of wipe my shocks down with them so this stay I don't know rust free I don't think since it's an RC you ever gonna come up with too much of a hassle but uh well my voice right now <clears throat> I've been sick uh too much of a hassle hassle and uh but they are like these are plastic and aluminum together i think they call them aluminum melts but they have some plastic ends on them uh they're good shocks and whatnot but basically all i'm saying is the parts for rc are real enough to where maintenance is important otherwise um they will start to leak and stuff the more the smoother that your shocks work the better you take care of them the smoother that the everything bends like it's supposed to bend or stay stiff like it's supposed to stay stiff the less likely that things are going to break so it might seem a little pointless, and then, and I wouldn't argue that it's not. But hey, man, if you got the time and you don't mind doing it, uh, that extra little step might save you some money. Yep. All right. Uh, I hope that helps, guys. Uh, if you ever have any questions on how I do things or anything like that or whatnot, uh, I'm more than happy to share. All right. Thank you. In our next video, we'll be watching Class 3 and Class 1. I hope we see you then. All right. Thank you.